Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be cleaning my master bathroom from literally top to bottom. I've been wanting to get this done for a while. Um, as you'll see in a clip, the walls almost look like they were like crying or like there was water on them. I think from all of like the steamy hot showers, I like to take like really hot showers and hot baths. So the walls like sweat and it almost like stained and you can see on the walls. So I really wanted to go through and like wash the walls, wash all of the baseboards, the moldings, literally from top to bottom and clean the bathroom out really well. I started off by filling a small bucket with some hot water, a couple drops of essential oil and a couple drops of Castile uh, soap. I'll link all of the cleaning products I use down below and that was basically it and I used that for everything for my walls, the mirrors, the windows, the floors. It was like a multi-purpose cleaner. I tried to work on certain sections of the wall and start from like top to bottom so I don't miss any spots or areas and just kind of went around the whole bathroom and did the same thing and just kept uh, rinsing out my rag whenever it was dirty or after a couple wipes just to make sure I was getting a nice clean rag and really cleaning it really well. In some spots I had to scrub a little bit harder because I felt like those stains on the wall were like almost like caked on. going to show you what the bucket of water looked like after just about like one wall so as you can see it was pretty dirty and I just kept refilling it and emptying it as soon as it would get dirty just to make sure I was using clean water on all my surfaces As I was wiping things down I also tried to refill them so like my bath salts, my bath bombs and uh, rearrange some things this way when I walk into the bathroom it feels fresh, new and clean and you'll see here in a little bit I actually rearrange the shelves a little bit more. the shelves after I rearranged them I love how they turned out pink and some rose gold and I love that love shampoo and conditioner and also the coconut oil I will link that down below very clean products and they work so well
I normally wash all of my windows at the house in the same time but I'm so glad I stopped to actually wash this because it was pretty dirty and if you've seen some of my other videos you know I use the same thing to wash my windows just some hot water lemon essential oil and a couple drops of either dish soap or castile soap whatever you have and leaves it streak free and sparkling clean chandelier is actually very hard to wash because of all of the little parts and I feel like um, there's little spots where they, like, they hook on to the rag so it like catches the rag and I was scared not to break anything but I tried to do my best and just wipe down as many of the little parts as I could to get most of the dust off of it. Here in this clip I tried to show you what the difference was after me wiping down one door to another. It was really hard to tell but even the doors they almost had like like a greasy texture. I can't even explain it. Almost as if they were like sticky and I felt like all of the dust and everything was just sticking to it and when I would go through with like a dry rag it wouldn't really clean it. So I really went through. I feel like the lemon essential oil and the soap helped like to cut all of that grease or stickiness off. So they cleaned and they were so shiny, I was shocked at how well they looked. Moving on to this little toilet room, I did wash the walls in here as well, but I didn't film that because this room is so tiny it's hard to film anything in here. 
Um, so here I am spraying down the toilet with the method anti-back spray. I really don't like the smell of it, but I already have it, so I'm trying to use it up. Um, and I'm just wiping it down with a paper towel. I also love using this Clorox wand, so it works so well for the toilets. It has those attachments that go on the top, kind of like the scrub brush, and you just clean the toilet. There's a little button, you pop it off, throw it away, and use the clean one next time. And I just buy my um, refillables on Amazon. Moving on to the shower, so I have done a whole like shower cleaning routine, I will link that, but I basically just take everything out, make sure it's clean or empty, and spray it down with either like dish soap water or I have a spray bottle, I think there's some vinegar and water in there, I will just spray the whole shower down and then sprinkle baking soda in there. It works so well for me to clean all of the grout and it leaves the shower tile looking very sparkling clean. I have a few things that I like to use. So I do have like a triangle brush. It has like a triangle tip to get into the corners, especially on these shelves or on the floor like the corners. Um, and then I'll just either use a rag or like a magic eraser to wipe it down And then I have a different brush that I that's a little bit like uh, bigger to cover more surface area and just scrub down all of the grout in the tile And then once I'm done scrubbing everything down, I will just rinse it off with water. Sometimes I will take like a dry or just like a damp rag and wipe the walls down one more time. Um, just whatever I'm feeling that day. I 
also replace my loofahs or my sponges every time I clean the shower. They're really inexpensive, so I like to switch them out often because you never know how many germs are sitting in there. So again, every time I clean the shower, whenever they're getting a little dingy, I make sure to change those out. Moving on to the sink, I just spray it down to with whatever cleaner I have, if, either if it's a bathroom cleaner or multi-purpose cleaner, I'll spray it down, use an old toothbrush to scrub all of the small like crevices or the faucets, and then either use a rag or a magic eraser to wipe down the sink. I did wash those mirrors and the lights above the mirrors and also the whole vanity like the cabinets but I didn't film that part but just to let you know that was cleaned as well. I normally will wash the tub right after I take a bath, just wipe it down, make sure it's clean for next time. So it was pretty clean, but I decided to just go through and just wipe it down because it does get dusty if it's not used, which it does get used quite often, but I still wanted to wipe it down just so that the entire bathroom was clean. Onto the last part, washing the floors. And I used the same solution to wash the floors. In here, Eddie was helping me vacuum a couple spots that um, had some stuff on the floor. But yes, I was so exhausted at this point, but I knew that this was the last part and I would be done. And let me tell you, it felt amazing. I was so tired, my right arm hurt from scrubbing everything. But that feeling of accomplishment and crossing that off of my to-do list, which has been on there for quite a while, it just, it felt so good. I did actually want to scrub the grout on my floor, but I ordered a tool on Amazon, kind of like a scrubbing brush that you attach to a drill. So I want to try that out, so I will review that in a different video. Um, so that's one more thing I could have done technically, but <laughs> again, the floors were washed, so that was good enough for me. I recently saw something on Facebook and it said, um, my wife just cleaned the whole house so now we have to go stay in a hotel. And honestly, that's how I felt after this. I told Eddie, I was like, don't go in that bathroom, don't touch anything, we'll just use the guest bathroom for a couple days. I just want to keep it clean and spotless just for a couple days because after all of that scrubbing I just did, I wanted to enjoy it just for a little bit. And I want to encourage all of you in this new year to tackle that one thing on your to-do list that you've been wanting to do for a while because let me tell you, it will feel amazing once you're done. I hope this gave you some cleaning motivation. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you are new, and I will see you all in my next video.